I'm about to drop a huge bombshell right now, and I'm terribly sorry to the 30 people that still watch my channel, but I'm going to quit YouTube. I will go into more detail on my last ever video, but for now, I'm not going silent. I'm going to be on Twitter still, I'm going to be on Instagram still, and I'm going to stream a shit ton on Twitch. So please, go follow me on Twitch, and if you ever see me streaming, then hop in and say hi, because I won't Bite. Who says that? Why is that even a phrase? And all of these are linked in the description below. But anyway, enjoy the video. Hello and welcome to part one of the series where I go through each and every League of Legends champion and tell you a little story about them. Now the first champion I'm going to talk about is Aatrox. Now I remember when Aatrox first came out and they did like some weird thing with lifesteal and just made lifesteal really OP so that also made Aatrox really OP. Now due to this lifesteal change they had to like nerf the shit out of Aatrox and he was just kind of shit for like two or three years, maybe four years actually. That was until they reworked him and made him Riven 2 and now from the looks of it he's basically just a clunky juggernaut Riven which to be honest I like the look of. If I still played League I'd probably pick him up. Next up is Ari and apart from being 80 percent of League of Legends wet dream. It's pretty cool. I do miss the days of her being more of a burst mage than like a movie about mage when she used to buy DFT and just sit in a bush and DFT charm ball and instantly kill someone. Like I love doing that as mages and I loved doing it as Ari but then when they changed her to more of a like movie around the map mage and like throwing spells left right and center I kind of got a bit bored of her so Akali. Fuck Akali. Seriously. Fuck Akali. No champion in the game should have that many dashes. Why the hell do they have that many dashes? You you throw your Q, dash. Auto, E, dash. You try and get away, dash. You try and do something, dash. Dash, dash, dash. Flash away, dash. And because I like playing clunky, low mobility characters, Akali is a fucking bitch. Alistar. Now apart from his quote being the inspiration to my second series, the clip series of You Can't Milk Those, and by inspiration I mean completely ripped off, one of my favourite memories of Alistar is when we did the Blitzcrank Alistar lane. So Blitzcrank would hook them in, then Alistar would use his Q, walk around, knock them back towards our turret, then Blitzcrank would use his E to keep them in place, and 9 times out of 10, the ADC would die. And it was just so much fun. Now next up is a Moomoo, and apart from having like a pretty cool song, and a pretty like, interesting backstory, like, is he a kid? Is he a yordle? Is he a mummy? Well he is a mummy, but but what's what's below the bog roll? Problem about a Moomoo is 90% of the players that play him are kind of like mouth breathers. So you just kind of like waddle around the map, send out your bandage, use your ult, cry a load because you're shit. And that's about it really, he's just kind of there. Now whenever I do have a story about, this one time me and Cam went in the bot lane and I played Poppy and Cam played Anivia and the strat was you put a wall behind the ADC and Poppy uses her E to slam them into the wall and it actually worked really well. Try it out, it's fun. Now with Annie, I still have nightmares about her flash ulting me. <sighs> Ash is obviously one of the first ADCs you play and I love how simple she is, but her best quality is her ult. I love landing cross map ults and I also love the fact that she can engage with her ult, so she's an ADC with an engage. The only thing I really have to say about Aurelian's soul is he's meant to be like this huge dragon made of like stars and cosmic energy and all that shit, yet he can be killed by a hamster with a blow dart. Azir was one of the few characters I managed to do a champion chance on and I believe it was ADC Azir bot lane. It was alright, you got to use your soldiers as poke, you had good like lane presence because of that, and you also had a dash away just in case you got ganked, and obviously his ult is also like self peel. And I thought it was gonna do well because like you buy a lot of attack speed on him anyway, but turns out his auto attack range isn't actually that long so it was kind of shit. Now Bard is one of my favourite champions in the whole game, I just love his troll potential. The amount of times I've ulted one of my teammates just to get them killed, so many good memories. Uh, why does no one play with me anymore? Alongside this, if you get good at his Q, then he's a dickhead in lane, and I love his like meep collection system. Overall, just a really well designed support in my opinion. Now speaking of well designed supports, Blitzcrank is also one of them. Now Blitzcrank is just so much fun. When you land a hook, it's really satisfying, and if you miss a hook, it's hilarious. So it's just win-win. Now luckily Blitzcrank is always probably going to stay the same. So when I come back to League of Legends in like 6 months time or a year's time, I can pick up Blitzcrank and know exactly what he does. Now Brand is a standard fire guy. I don't really have much to say about Brand, he's just a, a dude with fire, that's about it really. But I do have something to say 
about Braum. Braum, in my opinion, is probably one of the most well-designed champions in the game. His personality, his physical design, the fact that he wields a door, his gameplay is amazing, his mustache, the poro that follows him around, his quotes, like all everything he says, his laugh, his dance, all of his animations, the battering ram animation with the door. He's just a overall well-made character. And I remember when he first came out and I listened to his theme song and I was just like, good song, man. Mm, that's a good song. Caitlin is British. She drinks tea and pip pip and all that shit. Ugh. Brexit. No, but seriously, Caitlyn is pretty cool, and when she, when they reworked her a few years ago, I loved the fact that she had burst potential. She was always a bit stale up until that point, but the fact that you can, like, Q, auto, E, auto, and then ult someone, just, oh, it's so satisfying, especially if both of those autos were headshots. Now, Camille is someone who didn't really appeal to me at first, but I tried her out anyway, and she's actually a lot of fun. So I only actually tried her out towards the end of my League of Legends career, as it were. There was this one time where I like grappled in and like got a kill. That was really good. Cassiopeia doesn't need shoes. But Velkos needs shoes? Where's the logic in that? Riot? Aurelian Soul? He needs shoes? Mal's a half floats. Why the hell does he need shoes? Cassidin also. Nocturne doesn't have any legs. Why the hell does he need shoes? You know, this bit has been done to death, but it makes so much sense. Like, why the hell does Cassiopeia get away with not needing shoes, but all of the other characters that don't need shoes still have to buy boots? What's up with that, Riot? Now, Cho'Gath is a great champion. I love the way he's so simple to play and simple to master. All he does is go around the map screaming at people, rising up the ground, and then eats them. What more do you want from a champion? Well, if you're into aeroplanes, there's also Corky, who has one of the best lines in the whole game. Ooh! What is he doing there? Why is he? Why does he say that? Ah, now Darius is one of my favourite champions in the game. I love how clunky and slow his moves are. The way he holds back his axe before he spins around with his Q. The way when you ult, the screen goes red, and then you can have another ult, and you can like send over the blood stacks to someone else, and then ult them. It's just so much fun. Diana is probably the only assassin left in the game that I actually enjoy. Moving on. Ah, oh, Dr. Mundo. If you haven't watched my trackpad video, then you won't know this, but I'm going to spoil that video right now. Anyway, I used to main Dr. Mundo support, and I used to play him with a trackpad. Yeah. Now, Draven is, like, a character that really doesn't appeal to me. He's way too, like, Ooh, look at me. I'm the best. Ooh. I like champions like Dr. Mundo or Ramus or Corky, where they're just kind of a bit wacky, a bit silly, a bit stupid. Draven... He's probably stupid, but he's really fucking cocky, and I don't like cocky. I like... We'll see. Oh, wait. Echo is a time boy. He does time things. One thing that I've always wanted to try and do, but I could never do it, is I wanted to teleport in, get a kill steal, and then ult back to my lane. I've always wanted to do that, but I've never pulled it off. But to be honest, I didn't really try that hard anyway, so... Probably my fault. Every time I used to watch LCS from seasons 3, 4, and 5, Elise was always one of the junglers, that and Lee Sin and Jarvan. Yet every single Elise that's in my games in mid silver suck. Now I know I said Diana was one of the only assassins that I actually enjoy, but that was half a lie because Evelyn was amazing and then they reworked her and to be honest like the new rework's still all right i did really try to get into it i don't have much time to play league of legends i just like simple characters where i can pick up and play i don't want to have to be like if i do the heart thing now then they can break out of it they'll see me before six so i can't do that but i have to do something and oh i just wanted to play randoms and dick about and i used to be able to dick about with evelyn but now i can't <laughs> Nazriel is an ADC that I can get behind. He's probably the most unique ADC in the game. Probably because he was not originally designed to be an ADC, he just ended up being one anyway. But to be honest, I have not tried his new rework out, but they do seem to have stayed faithful to his original game design, so I kind of like the look of it. Little Sticks, on the other hand, whew. Now he's an amazing champion. He always seems to be a bit like forgotten within Riot. He never gets buffed or nerfed, he's just kind of there. He's very rarely in the meta, in fact most of the time he's not like anywhere within the spectrum of the meta. In fact if you played him, you were probably going to lose because he was that bad in most of the metas. But that didn't stop me because I really fucking love playing him. One of the things I wanted to do the most when I played League of Legends back in the day was fiddle alt into a Baron pit, get a pentakill and steal Baron all at once. It never happened, but that's something I've always dreamed about. And every time I picked Fiddlesticks in Champion Select, I'd be like, Ooh, is today the day? <laughs> no, it wasn't. Ever. Biora used to be well annoying. Biora 
is still well annoying. Moving on. Biz used to be well annoying. Biz still is well annoying. Oh, seriously though, if I could take a champion out of the game, Fizz would be up there. I have finally a rework that I actually really liked. Galio rework was amazing. The way they turned him from this like weird, stupid looking gargoyle gar 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 into like this huge colossus god thing. Pretty fun. I love his new ult, I love his new taunt. Everything about him is Q, is E. That's all of his entire kit, it's just so much fun. Do 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 behind you, Elise. Oh, she's the random. That's it. <laughs> oh, the oh, blitz! Oh. Oh. It was well dodged, but he popped the barrier. Yoloni, Yoloni injustice. No, no, Loni. Oh, Elise is there. Could I gang? Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> oh man. Oh no, are you serious? Push the fuck out of it. Oh, that was pretty unlucky. Kyle. Shut up. Help us push this turret, Corey. I thought you meant um, in the game. Alright. Oh, right. Like now, don't don't worry about the fucking golems. It's more, it's more, gonna, it's more important up. to get objectives than golems. <laughs> You'll be fine. You'll probably get it without me. Elise is there, Kyle. Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, fair enough. Ulti of destiny! Yeah! Do good. Use your ear to get vision. Thanks for feeding my lean, Elise! Oh. You can't build roads. You can't build roads. You can't build roads. You can't build roads. Yeah, you can tell this guy's level 50. What was he thinking? I don't know. Do people at level 5 aren't like as retarded as some of the people in the thread? Oh my god, luck incoming. Him, dude. No, chase him. Be a man. <laughs> That's all she oh. wrote. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. No. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I just want to be one that at least. <laughs> this <is> never. <laughs> At least saved me. Oh! Oh! Where'd she go? Oh, she's dead. I killed her with red bar. Impossible! Oh god, this guy's gonna go in. Riven's being, Riven's being, so be careful. <laughs> I will get him. No, I won't. Run. Red bar? Well, by account hacker new no bow. <laughs> Incoming well, Ashero. It's gonna totally miss. It is. <gasps> oh oh my god, that's actually really close. <laughs> that was so close. That oh my god. Dinch. 
but I was so tempted to cast it. I really want to kill this of these. Yeah! <laughs> Get him! <laughs> oh, I can't wait. What's she gonna say this time? Hi, <laughs> oh, oh, I love her. We should add her as a friend.